Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are installing some post brackets. I'm actually using them for beams on an existing foundation. So if you like what you see today or learn a little something about how to do this, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, so what I have here, this is a, a bracket. It's made by Simpson Strong Tie and it's called an ABA44Z. ABA44Z and it's basically a standoff base that'll give us a positive connection to concrete and then allow us to build up off of and have places to put structural screws in. So we're gonna use these today as part of our install for this deck. We kind of got lucky and there's two really nice foundations that have been poured underneath the old deck and we've decided to reclaim those because they're in such good shape and they will work perfectly for what we're doing. Even though the deck was framed differently, we're reusing these footings because they actually will be more ideal for what we're doing than what they were used for in the past. So I just wanted to show you guys how these brackets work. This particular bracket, we're running our beam like this. We could use a bigger bracket, but we don't need to because the beam's pretty much gonna rest right on top of this bracket with maybe just minimal shimming involved, okay? So uh, once it's installed, it's just gonna go like this with the beam. And it says right stamped right on the inside of this bracket, that you gotta use a half inch wedge anchor to do the install with. So we have some half inch wedge anchors and we're gonna do that. So install one half inch diameter anchor bolt with fat, with washer. We have those today, so we're gonna get the hole drilled and then we'll go from there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a half inch bit on a roto hammer, which we have right here. I've identified the crosshair where I need to drill the hole. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run a vacuum to kind of collect the dust. I know that uh, dust extraction has become a really hot topic. We don't have a, a HEPA filter for this particular tool. So we're just gonna run a shop vac to try and keep the dust down to a minimum while we're drilling, okay? And we'll start drilling our hole. Oh yeah. Don't forget your safety glasses. All right, so we have our hole drilled. Now, the length of the fastener for this particular bracket, these are three and three quarters of an inch long. So I always like to drill my hole at least a half an inch deeper than the hole. Now this footing is 12 inches deep at least. So we only went in the depth of this drill bit, which is probably a total of five inches. So now I just gotta grab a wedge anchor and we'll install this. Now the cool thing is they give you about an inch of play. So as long as you're within an uh, inch, of center, you can move these uh, back and forth a little bit and get them dialed in for your beam. So we'll probably end up setting the outside too and then running a string and then we can dial in all these and then we'll cinch them down and then you're good to go. So I'm just gonna show you how these go in. I've already vacuumed out the hole really good. You can use compressed air as well to clean the hole or you can use a, a brush to, to, to brush the hole. But usually we just use a vacuum, it sucks it out. If you don't clean out your hole before you put in the, the bolt, sometimes it can get caught on the dust and then your, your wedge anchor won't go all the way and seat properly in the hole. So make sure you clean your hole out really good before you put in your wedge anchor. So here's the wedge anchor. This is the half inch wedge anchor. What happens is when you drive this down, there's this part right here that goes down in the hole and then see how the bottom of this bolt is flared. When you put tension on it, this flare tries to go up and that's what creates the tension and what keeps this from trying to pop out. I always like to drop my nut lower than the threads. Make sure you always put your nut on the bolt before you anchor it into the concrete because if you don't, you may not be able to get this on after the fact if you miss and you, and you mash up these threads. And that's why I always drop my bolt down a little bit until I'm close to being down. And then you can raise this up a little bit more and hit it again if you want to get it in a little bit. But I, the, the top has a striking point on it. You always want to try to hit that striking point when you're installing these. So you can set this in the hole to a certain point. Sometimes I'll use a, like a little mini sledgehammer. This is like a, I don't know, eight pounder maybe. I don't think it's that much. So you can get started with this. But eventually, when I try to hit this too far down, it's gonna smash this up. So then I'm gonna go to either a different type of hammer. 
Okay, now I'm almost there, so I'm gonna back this bolt out just a little bit more, or the nut out a little bit more. Okay, now I'm just about tight. So all I have to do now is cinch this down with a socket. Sometimes an impact is quick and awesome. So I might just set this. Now again, I'm gonna set these to a string, but just so you guys get the idea, you can take this, this loose right now, and I'm just gonna cinch it. Boom, you're done. And I can see I'm out of square a little bit. Well, that's what's cool about this. You can back it off, reset it, re-tighten it, you're back in business. And that's not moving anywhere. What this bracket does is it keeps your lumber an inch off the ground so there's no moisture contact when it's wet and rainy and all that kind of stuff. So that's how you install an elevated post bracket onto existing concrete. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to like our videos and leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and have a great day.